Mariang Trashaklan B. Bassett, a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, third year student of the La Salle John Bosco College. Today, I will be discussing to you the elements in sales communication. Sales communication has five elements. First is active listening. Second is observation. Third is open-ended question. Fourth is clearly stated messages. And lastly, effective presentations. Each of these elements has its place in the sales process. They are all important. However, those that help the salesperson better understand and relate to the customers are often the most neglected and perhaps the most critical and successful selling. Active listening. We frequently make the mistake of assuming that active communication occurs only when we speak and that passive communication occurs only when we listen. Listening, on the other hand, should be considered an active part of communication if it is a two-way operation. Although this may appear to be a semantics debate at first glance. So, the point is that in order to communicate effectively, Salespeople must be at least as good at listening as they are at speaking. People often mistakenly believe that speaking is the more difficult of the two skills to master and that can listen effectively and it is something they do normally. So, there are several types of listening behavior. The first one is hearing. The sociological process whereby sound waves are received by the ear and transmitted to the brain. Information gathering, the absorption of stated facts. Cynical listening, defensive listening that assumes all communication is designed to take advantage of the listener. Offensive listening, an attempt to trap or trip up a speaker with his own words. And polite listening, meeting minimum social requirements while waiting for the opportunity to speak. Active listening involves the listener with the responsibility to obtain a complete and accurate understanding of what the speaker is trying to convey. Listening intently, the listener is responsible for obtaining a complete and accurate understanding of what the speaker is attempting to convey. So active listening should be the receiver's goal if he is to communicate effectively. It is the only type of listening that promotes good communication because it seeks to comprehend the entire message rather than just what it is being said. So active listening is an important tool for affecting change in people. A significant part of the salesperson's job is to change the customer's perception of a product or to determine what changes in the company's product or service are required to better serve for the customer. So there are two basic elements in active listening that help a salesperson accomplish these changes. First one is paraphrasing, summarizing the speaker's expressed thoughts as they were understood by the listener, putting what the speaker has said into the listener's own words, often begins with Phrases like, I hear you saying that, or so in your opinion. Next is the perception checking. Describing what the listener perceives to be the unspoken feelings or emotions or wants of the speaker. This description is offered tentatively and non-evolutive. Often begins with phrases like, I get the impression that, or it sounds like you felt. Paraphrasing and perception checking help the salesperson fully comprehend what the buyer is trying to say. They provide the sales associate with new information or confirm information developed during the sales process preparation. So paraphrasing is a good litmus test for a salesperson. When the listener repeats the speaker's words in his or her own dialect, the speaker can confirm the information that the listener has just obtained. And if the listener improperly includes the documentation, the speaker will be able to correct him. Perception checking enables the listener to go beyond the words being spoken and recognize what the speaker believes he is feeling. Quite often, the speaker is either reluctant 
to express her through feelings or in unable to put those feelings into words. When both stakeholders in a conversation actively listen, they provide comments to each other. Improving communication. Observation. There is no magic formula for effective observation. However, we can get a better grasp of the process of observation by thinking of the selling environment as consisting of three zones. These are the outer zone, the immediate zone, and the personal zone. So the outer zone consists of what the salesperson sees in the outer surroundings, such as the company's buildings and grounds, the workers, and the manufacturing space and equipment. The immediate zone consists of the office surroundings of customers. In this zone, such things as the way the office is arranged, the decoration used in the office, and whether any themes seem to predominate are important points to consider. The personal zone consists of the customer herself. The clues that are important here are such things as how she tends to dress, her personal mannerisms, and even her demeanor on a given day. Observation is more of an art than a science when it comes to gathering information. However, when approached methodically, it becomes a useful weapon for the salesperson. The nature of the information increases as one moves through the outer zone, immediate zone, and the personal zone. It becomes much more specific, mostly about the person and the circumstances that exist at the time of the sales interview. Clearly, Evidence obtained through observation must be treated as evidence rather than concrete fact. All observation should be stated over a period and through other means, such as questioning. So open-ended questions is one method of communication between salespeople and clients is the use of open-ended queries, which are reasons given simply with a yes or no. And during presentations, Face of the sale, the salesperson should create a list of questions. The open-ended question is better than a yes-no question because the customer is forced to provide more complete information in answering the open-ended question. This type of question makes the sales call much more conver conversational. Yes-no questions makes the interview sound like an interrogation and can often lead to the customer prematurely ending the interview. Clearly stated messages, although we have discussed thoughtful preparation before the interview, for instance, the salesperson should know beforehand what information is important to the buyer. First is, determine the most effective order of presentation, device and approach to which the buyer can relate. Speak to the buyer, not over or around him or her. Know how to tie the elements of the message together. So lastly is the effective presentations. As a person progresses from listening and see to just doing, he or she gains a greater awareness than at the earlier stages. The effective selling demonstration that combines this advancement will effectively and appropriately state the sales message. First is, utilize sales aids such as pictures of the product, written testimonials, charts detailing the benefits of a product, or dealing with a company. Include where possible a demonstration of the product, benefit, and or concept. Next is presentations represent the time allotted for the salesperson to build his case. So, getting the buyer involved in the process is the best way to gain and keep her interest. In some ways, the buyer becomes a part of the presentation. The convincing information of the presentation is no longer the salesperson's words, but rather the buyer's own experience. So, the buyer is no longer relying solely on the salesperson's words, but rather on her own personal experience. This adds the presentation strength. The best approach 
to selling when planning a presentation is to take a strategic approach and pull all of the elements together to form a cohesive whole. With each firm, the salesperson must recognize that different approaches and influence tactics will be required. Presentations should be viewed as an attempt to tell a story, and the stating of the narrative will be aided by the use of a number of methods. So that would be all. Thank you and God bless everyone.